Hey everybody, I've been getting a lot of uh, interest in my AC system. I guess it's that time of year. We're coming up on the summer equinox. The temperatures are rising and I mentioned in some past videos that I was turning my AC off while I was leaving my rig and it, that it was running off of solar and people were like, wait, what? AC running off solar? Tell me more. Well, this is one of those uh, types of topics that it would be really easy to get into the weeds on really fast and i'm not going to make this that type of video i'm going to hit the high points of how i'm doing it and maybe we can start some conversation in the comments where we can come and revisit this and dial it in even deeper or do a live stream on it and answer questions that way because how do you run ac on your solar is almost like asking how long is a piece of string what i'll do is just cover the high points this is what you're going to need to do it the way i'm doing it dozens of ways to, to skin the cat this is how to do it the way i do it you're gonna need at least or more than a thousand watts of solar panels let's go take a look I added my solar panels in bits and pieces over the years as my budget allowed. And that's how you might do it. Maybe you've got the budget to sink a bunch of dough into solar panels right out of the gate. More power to you. Get yourself at least a thousand watts of solar you see that wire on there you're gonna say hey that wire is negating the panel it's not bothering it. it whatever it's bothering it is negligible thousand watts I've got probably 1400 total running the side that uh, is powering my AC unit let's talk about the AC unit this is a LG 8000 BTU brand new air conditioned unit. But I say brand new meaning that it's up to the current standards of energy efficiency. The reason that I have 8000 BTUs is because the last time I did research, don't substitute my research for yours, 8000 BTUs could run on one 2000 watt generator so if you don't have enough solar and you're dying for ac get yourself a 2000 watt generator and a 8000 btu lg air conditioning unit i bet you it doesn't matter what brand it is and you should be good to go to just run it straight off of the generator let's fire this thing up wait first before before we fire it up let me show you this I am powering the entire system with two Victron 150 solar controllers. They're the smart solar controllers, which means that they have Bluetooth. I highly recommend nothing but Victron right now. And the power bank, which is in an enclosure here, is four 100 amp hour Battleborn batteries. They are lithium and they charge really fast. That is important, the uptake on these things, because right now it's kind of rainy season in Georgia, and so the uptake on these things when the sun hits them is super fast. And the inverter I'm using is the MultiPlus 12 volt, 3000, 120 amp inverter charger, which means I've got it connected to shore power, and I just turn my generators on, and they will power this and charge the battery system. I use two in parallel because this is a beast. You can see right now I'm at 76% and 3.1 volts and it's cloudy outside. All right, let's turn it on. One of the keys is I've got a point right where I sit. You want that thing blowing right on you. It's in eco mode right now. If I don't need 100% power, which I rarely do, I don't use it. I keep it in eco mode or other lighter modes. Now let's come over here. We turned it on and we dropped down to 
and if we let this thing run over an extended period of, not, of time, it might drop to 12.8, 12.7 over an extended period of time because we've got four 100 amp Battleborn batteries, lithium batteries. So this is a very robust system. If it's not in your budget to get such a robust system, get yourself a 2000 watt generator. It doesn't have to be Japanese like a Yamaha or a Honda. You could probably get a Chinese knockoff these days that'll do pretty well. They're getting good reviews for these days. Uh, Harbor Freight's got that Predator. That would probably do the job. Uh, so that's it, man. There's a lot more I could get into on this, but I, I don't want to get into the weeds. It's, it's a complicated topic. Over 100 watts of solar, lithium batteries, two Victron uh, 5100s, and an 8000 BTU LG air conditioner. And I am living like a king. Hope this helps. Let me know in the comments what details that uh, you need to know. And by the way, let's talk about this. Yes, I have it all rednecked out on a ladder and some big old, what are these, six by sixes? Whatever. I'm not driving down the road with that thing hanging off the side. Those ladders are cheap and it ain't going nowhere. I've got it all sealed in. So that's how not only did I do it, but how I would recommend to do it. All right, see ya.